Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you guys how I resize um, a cap for a small um, 21 inch circumference. So I have this cap and it's way too big. I'm going to show you guys how I resize the cap so I can get a nice snug fit for my client. So here I'm just doing the measurements. I'm pulling this down. Um, the front and nape is a 13. So I'm pulling that down to the 13. The temple to temple is a 14 and a half, I believe. So I'm gonna pull that around. And the nape to nape, everything is pretty much what, what is on the dome head, the measurements that's there. So it was pretty easy. I'm just pulling the cap into those um, spaces. So I didn't have any regular size caps. I usually use a smaller cap when I'm doing the small heads and I didn't have any more. So I had to use a larger cap. And this particular cap that I had, I was trying out new, um, I had ordered new mesh dome caps. And this one was really stretchy and it had a lot of room in it. So I had a lot of cap that I needed to take out. So you can pull it down. You see me pulling it down if you wanna do that. I did show you guys that in one of our previous videos. Um, I'm going to pull it to the front and I'm going to pull the sides to the front. I'm going to pull as much as the cap as I can to the front without, you know, over um, stretching it. And you can see that there's still a lot of wrinkles in the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold. I'm going to see the line of the cap. I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to pin it down. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm just folding it and pinning it down. You can see that I'm gonna make it neater. I'm gonna fix it and make it neater before I sew it. But that is pretty much how I adjust the cap. And then I'm going to sew it down. So I'm going to start with the front of the cap and I'm going to sew it down. From that end, I'm going to sew it all the way to the other end where I have the cap pulled to the front. And then I'm gonna go to the back and I'm going to sew down the, um, the pieces on the sides that I've tucked in, in the middle, rather. So I did fix that um, part right there where the cap was still a little wrinkly and now I'm gonna sew it down. And I'm gonna sew it down as neat as I can. And you don't have to worry about this stuff like coming and loose or unraveling because you will be sewing across, um, you know, all of this. So since you're sewing your tracks across this, you want to make sure that it's nice and neat, nice and flat. I'm just gonna sew down the other side. And then this is how it looks once I'm done. Cap looks like I did surgery on it, but you know what? It's good, it's nice and flat and it's neat. And it's gonna fit my client. So now I'm just gonna place my closure. I'm just folding it in half to find the middle. And then I showed you guys before that I used a ruler to place it a half an inch in front of the cap.
and then I'll go ahead and finish pinning that down and then after I'm done I'm going to start sewing down um, the bundles onto the cap and then that's going to be pretty much it for this video I just wanted to show you guys how like I resize large caps when I'm doing smaller heads If you're struggling with um, doing measurements, like if you're not sure how, you know, what your what correct measurements you should be using when you're doing like small heads, large heads, medium heads, you know, check out, you can go online and you can see like there's a lot of wig charts there um, that you can find, that you can go by, you can use as a guide. I also have a wig chart on my website. It's there for my customers to use as a guide. You can check that out and kind of, you know, get a, you know, get a sense of, um, you know, how your measurements, the normal measurements should be looking when you're making different size um, wigs. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. That's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to insert pictures so you can see how the unit came out. And until next time, bye-bye.